what is going on guys, it is the Linkster here and I hope you're all doing well. I want to start off by apologising for the lack of uploads in the past while. I've been fairly busy and I've had the odd health issues which I'm getting over now thankfully. However, I do want to thank you all so much for the kind comments and support on the previous videos and sheer amount of thumbs up and subscriptions to the channel recently. We actually hit 400 subscribers the other day which is crazy to me. Now, without further ado, let's jump into the features of Lone Survivor's Daisy standalone servers. I tend to play on server 3 because it has my preferred amount of players. Let's say I get a bit too jumpy when I'm in a server with 100 plus players. But no matter what player count you like, one of the Lone Survivor Daisy servers will be suited to you. I discovered Lone Survivor with a bunch of friends by literally searching up for some of the key things we like in a Daisy server and Lone Survivor popped up and looked great from the outset. The first add-on that I am mentioning is the Lone Daisy add-on, which is custom to the Lone Survivor servers only, and this mod quite simply adds custom clothing, suppressors, scopes, weapons, armour variants, furniture and storage, their custom loading screen, party system, billboards, raid time scripts, auto run, quick markers and a few other bits and bobs. The second add-on in the server is known as Advanced Weapon Scopes, which practically overhauls the whole scoping system within Daisy. The idea behind this mod was to give players the ability to use any scope on any weapon without the limitations of hunting and RIS slots. The next add-on is the Check Identity add-on, which allows you as the player to be able to walk up to other dead or alive players and identify them. It's fairly basic but adds the immersion, especially if you are rivals of a squad in the game and want to identify a player you have picked off. A lot of the add-ons in this server are quality of life add-ons such as this one, the Build Anywhere V3 add-on which allows ghosts to be set anywhere for placing objects and building components where the vanilla game normally would not. Next up we have the Unlimited Stamina mod which quite simply gives you unlimited stamina. Some players don't like this as some feel it breaks the realism factor, but personally, I love it. Next is the Vanilla++ Plus Plus Map add-on which adds 3D markers to the world showing points of interest such as traders and personal markers, for example your base or a place where you have hidden your vehicle so you don't lose it. If you aren't so keen on the 3D markers you can press the K key and they will be hidden from your view. Here we have the Chaytac M200 from Armour 2 Port which adds my favourite weapon from Armour 2 to Daisy. The Chaytac was the most powerful weapon on Armour 2, so if you have managed to get it, you are practically godlike. If you don't know what the Chaytac is, it is a manually operated rotating bolt rifle and sounds lovely when shot. Yet another throwback add-on is next, and this is the Remastered Armour Weapon Pack, which remasters some of our favourite weapons from Armour 2 Operation Arrowhead by giving them high quality sounds and textures and sticks them into DayZ. Weapons such as the M14, Mark 16, AK-74S and the Lee Enfield are included in this pack. Another weapon add-on is next and this is the CPB weapons add-on which adds a few awesome weapons to the server. Weapons such as the Barrett, SR-25, Val and Thompson are included and are all extremely well made when it comes down to sound and appearance. One of my favourite add-ons is quite a simple one yet when I play on a daisy server I need it to have this mod. You might already know what I'm talking about, but if you don't, I'm talking about the trader add-on, which simply adds traders to the game. Around the map are traders where you can buy and sell items that you come across. The thing I like about traders is that there is always something to work towards, whether it be buying supplies to upgrade your base, or buying that ultimate weapon to go out and dominate with. Next up we have Cloud's military gear, which adds 16 camo sets and a bunch of other items, all in a really nice looking military camo. The thing I love most about this pack is how good the camo texturing is so you can now really blend in well to dense areas of the map instead of sticking out like a sore thumb. Finally we have another clothing mod and this is the popular squad MSFC add-on which adds a bunch of high quality military gear to DayZ including multicam outfits, gas masks, ballistic goggles, belts and if that isn't enough it adds a few weapons too. Squad MSFC is a really well known mod with a 5 star rating with over 1,200 reviews on the Steam Workshop. The last thing that I want to mention is that these mods are subject to change and may be subject to be removed from the server, so I do apologise if you get on the server and one of these mods is no longer on it. All information about this server will be in the description below as well as links to the mods in case you want to check them out for yourself. 
With that said, I'm going to start live streaming at some point soon on twitch.tv forward slash the linkster, link in the description of course, where I will play a bunch of games and be easily able to interact with you. Thank you ever so much for watching and I really hope you have enjoyed this as much as I have enjoyed creating the content. I will see you in the next one. Thank you.